In this video, DS3231 real-time clock is interfaced with 80 tiny 85 microcontroller to display time, date, and temperature on Mac 7219 and TM1637 displays. In this first part of the project, we have real-time clock DS3231 interfaced with the 80 tiny 85 through the I squared C lines. And we also have a TM1637 displayed serially interfaced with the 80 tiny 85 through two digital pins that displays time, date, and temperature. And we also have an LED connected to pin PB1, which indicates whether we have AM or PM. TM1637 displays time. The LED is on indicating PM. Date and temperature are displayed periodically every 30 seconds. The C code is the same code I presented in my previous video when I programmed the DS1307 real-time clock. Slight modifications are introduced to enable the display of temperature. The modifications include reading the temperature after we read uh, time and date. So here we read the integer part of temperature and inside function display date temperature we can display the temperature in Celsius. In the second project we have a Mac 7219 display serially interfaced with the 80Tiny85 using SPI connection. The chip select is connected to pin PB3, clock is connected to PB4, and the data in is connected to PB1. A quick look at the C sketch. Most part of the sketch was explained in my previous videos. Here I will focus on the part related to extracting the temperature and displaying it on the Mac 7219 display. Again, we are using only one library, which is the TinyWire library. Temperature measured by DS3231 is stored in locations 11 and 12. At location 11, we have the most significant byte of the temperature. At location 12, we have the least significant byte. The most significant byte is an 8-bit twos complement, where the most significant bit is the sine bit while the 7 bit here gives the integer value of temperature. The least significant byte, these two bits here, represent the fraction part of temperature. So if the value is 0, 0, then the fraction value is 0 0.00. If the value is 0, 1, then the fraction part is 0 0.25. If the value is 1, 0, then we have 0 0.5. If the value is 1, 1, then we have 0.75. So as an example, for this given value for the temperature, we have 25.25 degrees Celsius. Inside the loop function, after reading time and date, we read the temperature from the real-time clock. First we read the integer part, and then we read the fraction part of temperature. Next we display the seconds, and then the minutes, and then the hours on the Mac 7219 module. Every 30 seconds this if statement becomes true and the program jumps to this function. Inside function display date temperature we display the year and then the month and then the day on the Mac 7219. Next the program calls this function to display the temperature and inside function display temperature first we display the integer part of temperature next we extract the 2-bit fraction part of temperature and using this switch statement if the 2-bit value is 0 then we will display the fractional value of 0, 0 if the 2-bit value is 1 then we display 0 0.25 if the value is 2 we display 0.5 and if the value is 3, then we display 0.75. More 80 tiny 85 microcontroller projects will be presented in future videos. Thank you for watching.